What's up, guys? Welcome to another Maker Monday. This is my weekly show where I put together different projects and things that I find interesting on the internet, as well as explore some of the ones that you guys have posted, as well as we'll go through kind of some channel updates, as well as checking out a tool of the day that everyone should use. So stay tuned. We're going to be checking out all of that. Now, first thing on the agenda is we're going to be checking out some of the projects that I like to post on my Reddit. It. Since I got a Reddit page down below, uh, you can check that out. I like to get posts from you guys. So if you have a project that you'd like to have featured here on Maker Monday, definitely post it to that Reddit link down below to my subreddit. And I will make sure and go through it next time on Maker Monday. But the first piece we're going to go through is our Reddit page. So let's start checking it out. I've got a few different... Uh, but basically, I like to go through the subreddits and I like to look at different projects or different things that I find interesting and post them for you guys, as well as speak to different projects, help people out with questions and answers. I've kind of turned Reddit into a pretty good space where I like to uh, like to discuss and, and go through things. So if definitely check that link out down below and post your project today so you can get it featured right here on Maker Monday. So first thing we got is we've got the uh, MyPy. That's right. I need to make one of these. Like, I just need to. You 3D print this out, add a screen to it, put uh, a Raspberry Pi Zero in there or something, and uh, some speakers. Bam, you got your own handheld video game system using uh, the RetroPie or whatever. Next up, we actually have one that uh, got posted. I've actually enjoyed this one. This one's pretty cool. Voice making orders. So basically a voice controlled Raspberry Pi here. Okay, so this looks like a pretty interesting project. Looks like he's got different uh, buttons and things. Looks like we got more to it here. What do we got? So let's let's look at this here. So we got Raspberry Pi stock system with voice assistant, Python GUI, uh, made it using Tinker and Gits, as well as he's got speech working without affecting the GUI. Next, we'll try to add speech recognition to create an order. I've previously done a few versions of this of my of my stock system, all using Raspberry Pi standalone and and uh, networked. Very cool, very cool. Looks like a type of inventory kind of control system. Am I am I right there? So you got individual stock check, full uh, full stock check, low stock check. It's kind of an inventory control, and that's very interesting. If it's all networked together, that's actually pretty cool. That was an idea I had a long time ago uh, for like a bartending robot. You know, everybody makes bartending robots nowadays, and the idea would be to have it actually networked to the point of sale systems to where you could ring in drinks from anywhere and then the robot would would make them so that way uh the bartender didn't have to uh make all the like simplistic drinks let's say so pretty cool idea i like it next up we got one that i really enjoy that's like these cool stairs like like i said in the post i need this in my home look at this do, 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 do. that's like i don't know that's like so cool it'd be rad to like make them different colors and things like that make it maybe maybe they shine different colors or something uh and then look, look at the turns itself off that's awesome i want that in my home i need to make it we need to make it guys we just need to uh we also have a video on uh reading battery level wirelessly using uh the ble modules which those of you that don't know again a ble is the bluetooth low energy which is a way of uh using this attaching bluetooth to battery products and not having uh it basically fired up all the time so that way you can conserve battery uh ble is a very good uh very good way of utilizing <clears throat> wireless uh, technology, but not eating the battery. This was actually kind of cool. It was uh, wouldn't create an Android version of this, but it looks like a like a some sort of cell phone case. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like a cell phone case that you can play video games in. Like I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, it looks like a cell cell phone case because that's what it. And then you've got like a little video game system built into it. I don't know. Or maybe that's one piece. Thought it was interesting. An interesting idea of making a cell phone case that's uh you know, video game. Of course, I don't know why you wouldn't just use the cell phone. But in any case, another one that was really cool was uh, got jealous of my wife's new car and needed an upgrade of mine. So basically uh, putting a Raspberry Pi in the glove box and then uh, attaching it to uh, maybe probably an aftermarket. looks like a Pioneer uh, aftermarket uh, uh, in dash, you know, t uh, TV radio combo thing to where you can sit and play video games. I've actually thought of doing this. I figured that would be, that'd be really fun. And I remember I used to think about doing it like with an actual PlayStation or something and sticking it in the car way back in the day. But, uh, now with the advent of the raspberry Pi, that's actually not a half bad idea. You can put the pie, you know, inside the only thing I'd worry about 
as if the pie would get too hot. So if anybody's ever done this, let me know in the comments. Is it, does it, do you have overheating problems or anything like that? Because, you know, cars can get really hot. So it makes me kind of wonder if, if they get really, really hot and then you try to play video games, if it might, you know, have problems. Next up is we got some cap touch that's going on. This actually looks pretty cool. Made service touch response with uh, Neo Node, Z Force, and Arduino. And then here's a piece of paper that is uh, responding with cap touch. Looks like a very interesting uh, project. I like the the way the swiping. I like that. I think that's kind of cool to be able to dim or just to just to know the position of your finger. <clears throat> is actually kind of neat. Next is we got a coffee table that makes me think I need to finish my coffee table. I just need to do it. But basically it uh, reacts to your hands, reacts to anything that you place on it, will light it up. So as to make a cool glow effect, like when you put coasters down or whatever, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, I need to go ahead and finish mine. It's just, it's so tedious. There are so many LEDs that you have to put together. It's just madness. Next is we got uh, Doom 3 running on a Raspberry Pi version 4, which actually looks pretty darn awesome, if I do say so myself. Uh, basically, let's see if I can fast forward into it. Um, looks like it's running pretty darn good, as you can see. Uh, handles the graphics pretty good. I know. I remember Doom 3 was the only Doom that actually kind of half frightened me. Even the Doom VR isn't really, it isn't really that bad, like, uh, as far as jump scary stuff. But Doom 3... Man, Doom 3 got me. And, of course, we have our other Maker Monday, which brings us to the end of the different posts that I have on here. And, again, I want to remind you guys that if you want your project featured on Maker Monday, definitely go down to that Reddit link and hit up my subreddit. Leave a picture, maybe even a video of what you've been building because I really want to see that. Okay, and so with the rest of that, that brings us to the Tool of the Day. All right, and today's Tool of the Day is going to be one of these... It's kind of a tool, but it's also a part. Um, I'll show you guys it. Let me see if I can uh, get my face bigger here. There we go. So it's basically a uh, temperature temperature device. I wish I had some, some power. I could plug it in for you. But basically, it's a uh, temperature regulating device. You can basically set a temperature. There's two LCD screens in this little guy. It's one of those little panel mount, kind of like the panel mount meters. And there's a uh, temperature set and a temperature, you know, like a desired temperature and an actual temperature. And what's really cool is it has a relay on the back. So not only do you got power, you have a relay, a set of contacts, and it even has a buzzer. Oops, sorry, wrong side. It has a buzzer, has a little piezo speaker, and then, of course, the temperature probe. This actually is going to be a really cool tool that I'm going to use in a project that I am building for you guys. Um, since you guys said in uh, one of my polls that you guys wanted to see more uh, mixing of electronics and homebrewing, that's exactly what we're doing. We're going to build a uh, cooler, a cooling device, a water cooling device so that way uh, you can do loggers and things like that and this is going to help with uh, keeping the temperature uh, stable so if you'd like to see the tool of the day or like to order one of these cool little things and play around with it for yourself link as always is down in the description uh, it's basically an Amazon affiliate link so when you click on that link it helps out the channel so definitely go check this out as well as if you need to uh, order anything from Amazon Use one of my links if you if you like the content, you want me to keep producing it. Uh, use one of my links to go buy your stuff with because then you don't have to buy what's in that link. You just click on the link and then go do your normal searching and it helps out my channel. So if you want to support the channel that way, that'd be great. Otherwise, likes are always uh, a big deal. I always love uh, getting some likes from you guys. So tell me what you, what you like, what you don't like and all that stuff as well as the best way is down in the comments. Let me know. I also wanted to be a reminder of Schmitty and uh, Ramsbottom, Duncan, Duncan Ramsbottom. You guys were my winners last week of the uh, Home Assistant uh, parts, basically. Uh, got a winner of a di uh, Zemi Smart Dimmer and a Zemi Smart Zigbee Downlight. Uh, you guys were my winners. Uh, so make sure that you send me your information. I, I should have sent you replies to your advice. If I, if I've missed it somehow, I apologize. I'm going to go back through that video and look and make sure that you guys didn't uh, reply to me, but definitely send it to my email. Cause if you just reply to the reply, it may get buried because I'm starting to get a lot of comments. There's uh 14,000 of you guys now, uh, over 14,000. So, uh, which is awesome, but it just, it, it takes a while to get through the comments, but anyway, uh, make sure that you check that out as well. Um, 
Uh, more uh, giveaways coming up. I've got some other stuff coming. Also on the channel, I've got some. I've got some more home automation. I've got our friends at Zemispart sent me a automatic blinds opening and shutting. However, they're a curtain style, and my wife says that she doesn't like the curtain style. So. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I'm going to make a mock-up uh, deal of it or I don't know. I have a door to put it on, but my wife says that she doesn't like that style. So we got to figure it out. I don't know what we'll do with it yet, but we will do something with it. So that way you guys can see how to hook up one of those smart uh, blind systems as well as check out a really cool one. Um, it looks really neat. We'll see how easy it is to put together. I'll film the whole thing as well as coming up on the channel. Uh, that uh, that cooler is coming up as well. So uh, it's basically going to be a way of lagering beer because uh, those of you that may not know, uh, ales and lagers are completely different. Uh, ales will ferment anywhere from 60, oh, about 65 to 70 75 i really don't like to go up to 75 so I, but it, it can it can do it at 75 so somewhere from like 68 to 75 somewhere around in there um is what they ferment at but then loggers have to go from like 46 or, or no 48 to like 58 is what they are so it has to be substantially cooler and unless you have like you know a, a cellar up in a mountain with a ice cold stream running through it you're probably not going to get that 50 degrees so or 40 some degrees so you have to build a cooler and that's what we're going to be working on next in the channel so far as the uh, mix of electronics at home brewing we're going to put that together and i'll show you how to make one out of good old peltier junctions which ought to be a lot of fun to check out i also got some other videos some more augmented reality videos let me know down in the comments do you like the augmented reality maybe i should do a poll on that uh do you like the augmented reality idea of doing playing around with that stuff because that's just basic coding um and i bought some ar goggles i bought some ar goggles they were on rollback at Walmart for like literally $2. These are dirt cheap anymore. So that way I can drill holes and cut holes in it for cameras and stuff and not feel bad about it. It's not like destroying an Oculus or something. Anyway, <clears throat> so we got that coming up um, as well as, oh yeah, let me grab it. Um, we've got the Raspberry Pi Sense Hat. So those of you that checked out the Minecraft video that I did about using uh, Minecraft as basically a world builder and then designing your own code around it, um, we'll be continuing that series. I just need to get more time to sit down and play with it. But I ordered a Sense Hat because we can do lots of cool stuff with this. Um, you can make spaceships fly uh, by using it like a Wii controller and stuff like that because it has accelerometers on it, gyroscopes on it, magnometers on it, all kinds of cool sensors are built in to this device. So we will definitely definitely be checking that kind of stuff out so guys this video is long enough thank you very much for watching make sure and comment down below hit the like make sure you subscribe and you share the videos and when you subscribe make sure you ring that bell down there otherwise you won't get any notifications on when new videos are coming i'm sorry that uh i didn't upload a video last thursday it's been uh it, it, that because i'm doing that project i'm building the uh the the liquid cooler and all that stuff um i didn't have a chance to upload a video so that may happen um i'll try to always upload a maker monday so that way you guys will know where i'm at and i'll try to also uh tweet out progress and things like that so um but if i miss it on thursday i'm sorry but i try to release a video on mondays and thursdays and so stay tuned and make sure that you're subscribed if you want to support the channel definitely check out the t-shirts we got the engineered t-shirts uh with uh, all the different disciplines whether you're electrical mechanical aero whatever we got all the different disciplines check those out down below at my good old teespring that helps out the channel as well as sign up and become a patron and you will get exclusive uh giveaways you will also get exclusive content by me where i will teach you how to do c programming i'm working on a series also that's what i mean i've got too much stuff going working on a series right now uh for basic electronics so we'll teach uh, basic electronics in there as well so guys thank you very much for all the support thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video